Hey everybody, and welcome to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jackie Later, still in Jackson, because we're staying socially distanced, because we don't want to get anybody uh, sick, so that's a thing. But this is great. This is something I grew up with, because we were broke, man. So it was either cook the fishes by themselves and be hungry later, or cook the sausage and not have anything to go with it. So, dude, this is great. Take it, wrap it around, we're going to fucking cook it. It's going to be great. Again, perfect breakfast thing, snacky lunch thing. You can use it for meal prep. It's outstanding. Be sure to do the YouTube stuff. Do the like, share, subscribe, ring the little bell. All the YouTube stuff, we very much appreciate that. And look down below in our doobly do for links to our merch. We got aprons, fake hands, flippers, spatula, spoons, the whole thing. Look down there, we're a small business. We very much appreciate everything you do. And let's just get the recipe. Enough of me talking, let's do this. All right, this is absolutely the least amount of stuff I've ever used. You're gonna get some smoked sausage, some croissant rolls that are prepackaged, and you're gonna need some butter, right? And, and that's it. That's that's all the ingredients. So I'm going to use uh, uh, this uh, griller skillet thing, my cast iron here. Uh, put it at medium, medium high. Now your sausage are already pre-cooked. They're smoked. So you're basically just heating them up, heating them through. I'm using this cast iron because A, I like using cast iron. It heats pretty evenly. And this one's got the little grill things on the bottom so it leaves some cool little grill marks on it. I mean, I'm the only one eating it. I know how it's cooked. I really don't need the grill marks. But uh, superstition, maybe? Keep the... The grill devil one, whatever. So heat these, <laughs> be sure to roll these around. Uh, especially if you're in a regular skillet, you want to turn them a little bit so you don't have one side completely brown and the other one not so much, right? So go ahead and get these nice flipped over. I spent about uh, three to five minutes on each side as it warmed up. It was longer, and then once it was warm, it was the other side. So once you get these nice and plump and you marked them all up, I don't know why my camera's acting weird, but <clears throat> yeah, just go ahead and remove those from heat. And then usually, you can do this in just one skillet. I'm doing two because I'm fancy that way. Get your croissant rolls out of this thing. And just be ready for it to pop it down to that. Okay, it didn't pop. So then just squeeze the monkey out of it and it'll pop loose. Now, nah, nah. now pull this out and lay it out. You'll see that it has like uh, little lines poked into it, like little perforation stuff. I thought I was closer to this, but that, that ring was still hot from when I cooked, so this didn't show up on camera. So just take it and wrap it around the middle of it. Just start at one end with one of the points and then wrap it around the rest of it. I'm sorry, I did not realize this was so far out of frame, so I'm gonna describe it to you a little better. Like I said, grab one of the long points, right? Just wrap it around and just kind of end up in the middle and kind of mash it. It doesn't have to be pretty. I, we're gonna try to do that with most of them. <clears throat> so get your skillet, get it back up to cruising speed, about medium, medium high. And then uh, if you're using the same one, you don't have to worry about it because there'll be a lot of grease. Or you can add about a quarter of a tablespoon, look at the side of your packaging, for your butter and it'll show you how much it is and melt a little butter in there uh i was trying to experiment with bacon that's why that's in the background now when you're trying to spin your butter here you get extra points if you can spell my name it's an o and a z uh i did pretty good i don't know why that giant hyphen was at the end but uh, you could do this with all kind of different meats like breakfast sausages bacon that kind of stuff and we'll do a follow-up with the bacon because that worked out pretty well but go ahead and take these once your butter is melted and it's all warmed up and just kind of push it in there now the dough is still going to be soft right then whatever you do don't put these close to each other because then they'll cook into each other and they won't cook in the middle and they'll be stuck together and that'll only count as one and somebody will steal extra sauce so give it two to four minutes on the side it'll start to brown flip it over now you can just do two sides if you take it and mash it flat er flat er like this we're doing here but because these sausages are so round i ended up making them like little uh triangles like cooked on two sides and then one side would inevitably be wider than the other so i just spun them around and cooked them on the sides as well that way you get nice and brown all the way over that's what this is right boom this takes very little time uh especially with the grease and stuff in there now what you need to be careful is if you're cooking especially with the sausage grease or the butter when you put the uh, the bread products in there the croissants and stuff it soaks up that grease so if you go to put stuff in and there's no grease left add a little bit more butter right a little bit like i'm talking like eight of an ounce at a time or a, what is it a tablespoon they measure it in uh, but once you get a nice and brown on the outside, it'll be cooked all the way through to your sausage, especially if your sausage was still hot. Uh, the faster you do these, the better, because that sausage is hot and it helps cook it on the inside. But these are amazing. Like I said, you can reheat these exponentially. They are great, especially if you want to reheat them in an air fryer, which is amazing. Uh, now be careful when you pull these up because they can have little pockets of really warm grease inside the, the sausage, depending on how cheap a sausage you get. Uh, but this was great. These I used for breakfast. I ate just one in the morning on the way out the door. I was in the middle of doing a lot of stuff, getting ready for cons and whatever. And I was able to use this for a week. Quick breakfast. It's a lot of meat and stuff in there. You get all your proteins or whatever. This is amazing. And it was well under our budget. I could sit and just eat these all for one meal. I wouldn't be able to get all through them. So this 
goes for a lot more than just one meal, especially if you just want to do these for breakfast. Simple enough to where your kids can help you do it. Uh, as long as they're careful around the grease, please be careful around the grease. But try this, man. Uh, and if you do it differently, let us know, man. And there you have it, folks. Quick, fast, and inexpensive. I finally got the word right. I kept screwing it up. So... It's breakfast, it's lunch, it's something you can do, just a quick snack here and there. It's amazing. Not necessarily healthy, but it's quick and fast, right? So, the same excuse for fast food. If you can do it differently, you want to see us do it differently, a different take on it, let us know. Put it down in the comments, man. That's what they're there for. Or you can find us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon. You can find us all three of those at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram, Living Between. We had to do a little shorter one there. And because the AC came on, you can also find me at TikTok. Because I've been doing little videos over there, we're going to start putting out some more stuff on that side. And until next time, y'all be safe, please. Be good.